In this chapter, we'll talk about how to handle the data that Cetri generates once the experiment is over. So we'll talk about how to reformat Cetri output to use it in, for example, Excel, but also in R or in Stata, and how to present question results in an efficient and effective way. And also I'll mention how optimally to prepare a res results table directly in Cetri to leverage the strengths of Cetri as compared to your analysis software package. Cetri saves the output data, so all the results from your treatment in the .xls file. Now this is not really an Excel file, but it is um, a, Excel can open this file. And there are multiple ways you can use this data. You can manually format it uh, for use in your software. You can use Cetri's tool separate tables command. I'll show you how that works. You can use my own Excel add-in that is called C tools. And you can use uh, Kanta Keuchi's Stata import procedure and Oliver Kirchham's R import procedure. And except for the manual version, I'll talk about all of these on the following slides. Cetri has some measures on board to reformat Cetri output. So you can click the Tools menu and then select Separate Tables. Then you need to select the XLS file that Cetri generated for you uh, during the experiment. And what you get is that this is the original Excel file. And from that, Cetri will uh, generate, um, well, it's, we will split it up into separate files by treatment. So this is the first treatment you ran uh, in this experiment. And if there would be a two here, that would be second, the second treatment you ran and so on. And by tables. So these are of course the table names. And so you have all the data of the globals table of the first treatment in this separate XLS file. Now there are several problems when you want to manage C3 output in Excel. The first is if you possess a German Excel version, then the decimal separator in Cetri, which is the period, will be interpreted as the thousand separator by default in the German Excel version, versus a comma would be interpreted as the actual, so the comma sign as the decimal separator. And what that means is that Cetri will sometimes take a decimal number and interpret it as a date. So the solution to that, or at least a partial solution, is to change the, the decimal separator in your, in, in your Excel options. And you see the German menu here, because of course this only applies to German versions, um, where you can make this change. So I have by default set my Excel um, to use the, the period as the decimal separator, and that get rid, gets rid of some of the problems, but not all of them. For example, I saved a version number in a string variable in Cetri. And the string variable does was or contained seven, seven period, three period, four, because this was uh, version 7.3.4. And Cetri automatically, uh, sorry, Excel automatically in interpreted this as the 7th of March 2004 instead of as a text that was 7.3.4. One problem. The other problem or another problem is that um, the columns in the set free output are not always in the same order. So depending on how quickly subjects progress and what they do first, sometimes a variable, if of course they are not properly defined in the background, sometimes a variable may be um, may be defined earlier and sometimes later, and that means the, the column can shift in the output file. And so if you copy together using copy and paste in Excel, the data from multiple experimental sessions, you must be very careful not to mix up your columns. To take care of these problems, I've programmed an Excel add-in that you can download from my website. I just showed you the link two slides ago, I think. And uh, this is called C Tools, and it will add this little menu to your Excel. 
and then you can click this format set tree .xls input button and the dialog will ask you for the file that you want to, to format here and it will as a result produce an excel file with the the tables so your set tree tables in separate tabs and with the, all of the columns properly um, pasted together basically and also take care of these date issues so these things um, will be in, interpreted and imported correctly so if you want to work in excel with your set tree data which i don't recommend actually so i myself do not now use this uh, add-in anymore but if you want to work with Excel with your set tree data, then I recommend using this add-in because it will save you a lot of hassle. Another issue when you process data from set tree is that set tree records the time, for example, in this case, the time where the purchase offer make uh, button was clicked as the time that is basically displayed on screen. So this is the time in seconds remaining in the current stage. And also the time recorded here is the last time that the subject, well, this is in a contracts table, um, but if it was, for example, in subjects table, it would be the last time that the subject clicked this button. So it may be that the subject clicks this button five times, but Satri only records the last time. Furthermore, and I mentioned this before, if you set the stage timeout to to minus one, for example, so that the, st the stage has no timeout, then this time here will be recorded as 99999 and you will not have any timing information. So be careful in how to interpret this uh, timing. And also the precision is only one second. It's not uh, more precise than that. So I recommend if you want to use timing data to create your own or save your own timings. And I'll show you an example of that later on. Moving on to questionnaire data. Questionnaires in Setri are questionnaire data is saved in the SBJ file. And you can open that in Excel. The problem is if you want to add the SBJ file to your .xls file uh, Setri output, that the SBJ file is transposed such that the subjects are not in the rows but instead in the columns and the client, the computers, are in the rows. I'm sorry, the, the answers on the question that the answer variables are in the rows. So what you need to do is you need to transpose the data and then copy them to your Excel sheet. But again, if you copy multiple questionnaires together, there is a risk because if uh, there is an open text field where subjects can enter a lot of text and this text gets too long, in fact, longer than 255 um, characters, then Setri will create an extra row in, this, in the output file, which means if you transpose it, you will have extra columns. And for example, if the variable where the, the answer is saved in is called understanding, um, then you will have a column understanding and, understand, and another called understanding one and another understanding two and so on. But of course, in some sessions, you will have some subject who entered a lot of text. So in this session, you will have multiple columns. In another session, you will only have people who, who enter short information. You will not have these multiple columns. And that carries the big risk that you, um, that you fail to account for that and um, record data basically as belonging to the wrong variable because you would just have the, the columns switched between different sessions. So uh, it's very tricky to do this. You need to be very careful and it's pretty error prone. So once again, you can use C tools to solve this problem for you. And what I also recommend is to add session and treatment identifiers to your data because of course the set tree output only carries the date. Um, and I would recommend that you add your own session and treatment identifiers to make it easy later on to process the data. Using my Excel add-in C tools, you can click the button Merge C Tree um, SBJ files in your new C tools toolbar. Then select the questionnaires that you want to merge. So multiple questionnaires can be merged together. And the output, which will be put into separate tabs in the same Excel file, so it will preserve existing tabs and then just add a, add a tab 
called overview, which will give you a list of the files that were processed, how many subjects there were in these um, files, and how many variables were recorded. And as you can see here already, in these two output files, there were different was a different number of variables because. Um, well, a subject in the second um, session wrote a bit more, and that's why an additional variable was created. But the output file will um, hold all of the data under correct headings merged together in a nice way, such that you can easily use it to combine it with the, the original .xls Satri output data for your analysis, for example, in a regression or something. Once you have your question and data merged together in one Excel file, I highly recommend and I find very find very useful to use the word matings function to format and print this data uh, or for example, output it into a PDF format. So you would use the, um, the questionnaire results, the merged questionnaire results Excel file as a data source for the word mailings function and then you can click insert merge field and insert the different variables into your document and then clicking finish and merge you can print um, your all of the questionnaires basically into well you can print them out but you can also put them into a pdf which saves paper and the environment of course so for example this is a, a sample output that i've created i in the word file so these are the fields that are added um, from from the from the Setri questionnaire output session ID sub so this is text subject and then it inserts the subject number then it puts here the nationality whether this was a female person um, the age uh, and so on and as you can see here if for some uh, some some answer in the questionnaire multiple fields were created. You just add all of them here in the in the word file in the in the mail merge file and the result then looks something like this so you get i usually prepare it such that i have one page per subject and it tells me okay this was the client name so the computer name usually the this was subject one or okay this is the client name this was a session name as i said this is subject one which was an eritrean male 26 non-smoker and so on um and you get all your answers including the text answers and of course likert scale answers on one sheet that you can view yourself particularly for the for the text answers the likert scale answers all numerical answers are usually just put into a regression for example so it's hard to well detect a pattern when looking through these pdfs here that works better in the in your statistics uh, software but reading the entries they made about their strategy or about things that they found unclear in the instructions is of course easiest in such a, um, a nice uh, pdf uh, format where you have one page per subject and you can get an idea of what maybe the problems were or what uh, people were thinking while they were doing your experiment if like me you like to analyze your data in R, in the free statistics software R, then Oliver Kirchkamp has kindly uh, programmed a package called Ctree that allows you to import Ctree data directly into R. And it, well, similar to my um, Excel add-in, it allows you to import both the, the .xls file and the SBJ file, so both the main experiment, the treatment data, and the subject's answers on the questionnaire. And uh, it imports them into a nice format, which makes it very easy to use this data in, in R for your analysis. So I highly, highly recommend using this package. So for the R users among you, or for those who want to use R in the future to analyze your set tree uh, data, I have another exercise for you. And this exercise involves actually analyzing experimental output in R. So it should train you to understand how you can import Cetri data into R and also then how to analyze it. And what we are going to do for this exercise is to generate data using the public goods game example that we programmed in the chapter that has the same name and then analyze it in R. 
So after you've done that, you will both have learned how to properly test the treatment by actually running through the whole treatment, all the periods, all the subjects, and obtaining the data, and then importing the data into R and actually doing an analysis to see uh, the outcomes, for example, from a pilot experiment. So the task for you will be to generate output from 10 periods and 24 subjects of the public goods game tutorial experiment. So that means that you should click through 10 periods and 24 subjects, making some um, contribution choices for them. And then once you've done all that, you got the output, you import it into R and run an, an, an analysis. And to help you do that, I've prepared a walkthrough document, which basically um, tells you or shows you all of the steps you need to take in R. And you find that in the course material or in my Setri lecture resource back on the, this address here. And it's the file titled tutorialanalysis.pdf. Please pause your video now. If you still work with Stata, there is also an import procedure for Stata, and that is due to the kind um, programming of Kanta Keuchi, who programmed the Setri to Stata command, um, and you can download this file from his website and follow his instructions on the website to import your data into Stata. And then, of course, analyze it in Stata using well, your Stata knowledge. Now, when it comes to making sure that your output files provide the information that you need for your analysis and provide it in a way that is easy to analyze, there are, of course, always many ways to, to do that. And sometimes it can be best to generate your own results table within Setree that you can then easily analyze in your statistics package of choice. But I recommend using the predefined tables where they are available. For per period data, you can use the summary table. For the per subject data, you can use the subjects table. And you can never have too much information in a table. So don't try to create a user-defined table just to copy a subset of some predefined table into it. Use the predefined table itself. And you can always, in your statistics package, in your statistics software, drop those variables or columns that you're not uh, using. Now. I recommend thinking about the strengths of Setri versus your uh, statistics software package. There are some um, transformations and calculations that are faster and easier in Setri, but many are easier in your statistics software. So, for example, it is easy to combine information from different tables or different subjects into one table row in Setri. But it's, for example, much easier and, well, much easier, but it's much faster, I guess, to calculate new variables from the information in a single table row in your statistics package, be it R or Stata or any other package that you want to use. So, for example, I would rather use uh, Setri to copy responder data to propose a row. That is very easy and it's very easy to match them up using the group variable which is a bit more involved in your statistics package. But at the same time, calculating the mean or the variance of subjects' earnings is easier in R or in Stata or whatever you want to use.